Shooting? Yeah. Running? Okay, come. I'm super excited that three years after Cryptopia, I'm ready to announce my new project. It's called Fortitude. It's all about the new space economy. New space, it's about cheaper rockets going up into space. It's about super small, tiny satellites. No. Okay, hang on. Let me introduce myself. My name is Torsten. I've done two previous documentaries as a director here on Kickstarter. One about Bitcoin in 2014 and one about the blockchain industry in 2018. Now, new space is another one of these exciting emerging industries. And my journey to meet the people, projects and promises behind it has been absolutely mind-blowing. I'm sure you will love it too. This space renaissance deserves a full documentary treatment. We got amazing access. Astronauts, rocket scientists, the White House, the United Nations is in the film. We filmed inside the industrial military complex and even a mission control center. After 80 interviews on four continents, our global team now needs your help to finish the film. What else do we need? To afford five more weeks of editing. I'll hire the crew and location for the very last shoot. And a bigger set for Elon. Four more short animations. We need a calibrate and an audio mix. A bigger presence on social media. We'll run a spacesuit for Torsten to wear. Yeah, so I think you get the idea. Luckily, we have really great perks for our supporters. Not only can you send your selfie to space, no, your pet's actual DNA can go to the moon. Here's how it works. Uh, we extract your DNA out of your cells, and then we preserve that DNA on this fibrous membrane, which is meant for long-term DNA storage. And then we embed that in a polymer that we call synthetic amber polymer kind of like tree sap in Jurassic Park, where the DNA was preserved in tree sap. So if you want to support independent filmmakers or you want to spread life across the universe, you simply must help us. Or if you're a fan of documentaries or filmmaking, we have exclusive webinars about shooting, writing, producing Fortitude. Please check out the links. And um, even if it's not for you, please share with a friend. Thank you. Got it. Very nice. One shot. We don't fool around here. My name is Torsten Hoffman. I'm an award-winning filmmaker and entrepreneur. Guys, um, I think you want to have it on this frame. I cover emerging technologies and show you how trillion-dollar industries are forming around them. Today, the space industry seems to be really taking off. And trust me, it's way bigger than just Elon Musk. There were headlines. New era private industry is going to lead the way. No, they're not. So allow me to whirl you around the world, catapult you into orbit, and to hurl you through space. You ready? Yeah. The new space race isn't just propelled by governments. Hundreds of companies are competing. SpaceX were the first private company to put a satellite in orbit. We were the second. Nine. Oh my god. My mommy could be an astronaut. <laughs> Meet the next generation astronauts, the faces of new space. So you're literally a rocket scientist? Yeah. <laughs> hey. A CubeSat can be as small as this. Launching into space for, say, $100,000 or $200,000. So why is this guy spending $2 billion on three huge satellites? OK, one question. Are you crazy? No. <laughs> Never. The sky is now full of tiny spies. This is creating a trillion dollar market opportunity. The list is really endless. Helping to combat climate change and geopolitical enemies alike. Sick. When Putin said he was going to withdraw, we caught him building a bridge between Belarus and Ukraine. And everyone was like, OK, perhaps we don't believe you, you know, Mr. Putin. Bye. Dying satellites can now be saved. I deorbited dozens of spacecraft. We don't have to do that anymore. We don't have the right to make mistakes because it would be fatal. But debris puts it all in danger. This is kind of scary to think about something like this re-entering and like maybe hitting a populated area. Or Nobody cleans up after you in space. Turns out that's going to change. Three. Maybe someone is already building a space hotel like the one I read about as a kid. Torsen, this is happening. We are building a space station. No. And we use the inedible part of the plants to feed the insects, which create the substrate for the mushroom. And reimagining sustainability. It came to me that my, my role and purpose is to help save the DNA of Earth and, and spread light to the stars. One. 
And by the way, why is NASA awarding grants to the two richest men on the planet? I wasn't prepared for that question. <laughs> The really interesting thing about the space industry is the sky is not the limit. Oh my God. If the public does not see the value of this, immediately I will work to ensure that they do. Roger that. Let's meet those turning science fiction into science fact.